Welcome everybody to my, <laughs> my <laughs> dumb friend. That was too intense. Wayne just backed up. We were just talking. Like, <laughs> we were just talking like normal people, and all of a sudden, that's we were, what Dan does. What is separates it? us from other podcasts yeah. is because I act like also, it's go time all the time. Yeah. Well, that's the secret of my success. Maybe you're freaked out because your voice and you look like the cowardly lion. Right no, now. I like the look way. I know hair. that look. I like that, that look. That is an awful haircut that you have. Oh my god. This is a special. You're occasion. talking right into a microphone. Let me just give you. Let me give you. Him. Welcome to the show. <laughs> How about that? Just as an option. Guy does a tonight show and shows up with an album. He's just a show business. All right? You know? <laughs> He's dismantling the mic now. Oh, I'm adjusting He's the running mic. running this whole trying to run away from you? <laughs> this is a weird... Well, big news. Sean's in the studio. Yeah. His lovely wife, Marielle, is in the studio. Now, was this weird who's that he been, is Who's looking at her phone. She's done with the podcast already. Right, right. And Aaron's the right. And then well, Wayne Fetterman, our guest... Thank you. You've seen him from all over the place. Turning my phone, I'm putting it on airplane, even though we're in a studio. Okay, <laughs> perfect. We allowed to do that. They don't have like studio mode, so airplane yeah, mode works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Put it face down, baby. That's how you do it. I had like a, a I had like a moment with uh, Wayne at the improv. I'm still laughing about it because he was talking about it, like, hey, you ever. Uh, you ever date a, co- a comic? And he's like, yeah, it was ten years. It was good. And I was like, yeah, two people. Drown and can't save each other, and then Wayne's like, "That's not at all what I said." It's <laughs> like you made that depressing. It wasn't a depressing story. He's like, "So put your bullshit on me." He's like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. I do remember that. <laughs> Let me tell you. Thank you for doing that because that the story, he wants to. Make what did it, you say? Two people drowning, pulling each me. other. It, it's the worst possible scenario. <laughs> not everything's poetic, Dan. <laughs> You're like, no, it was fine. It was they good. A very man. good relationship, and I'm still in touch with the girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, Stop making it. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a, a Jeff Buckley album, okay? <laughs> Is that the right? Yeah, that's Jeff the Buckley. Singer, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I'm not mistaken, he sang a cover of... Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be crazy. This is off, um, do I have any right. computer with me? Go, no. no. Do I have any no, external nothing. device? And your phone is no. face down. Phone and is and face it's on down. airplane mode. Slash studio mode. I believe that Jeff Buckley's died drowning. Yeah. Drown, he drowned, and the last thing he sang was heard singing as he went into the river was "Whole Lot of Love" by Led Zeppelin. Really, uh, that might that be true? a completely different person. Can we Google that? Can we check? Can Aaron? we check that? Thank Can you. Well, wouldn't it have been uh, more like a whole lot of love, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's impossible that because he's really here bad. right now. <laughs> <laughs> just we just bring his body up. That was a good song. Oh yeah, um, really good song. What but he didn't write it. Who's the guy? No, it was Leonard it? Cohen. Yeah, Len- Lenny Cohen. What are Lenny other Cohen. Len- what other Lenny Cohen Leonard songs? Lenny Cohen's the guy who's great, and then people who are also great cover his songs. Yeah. Like uh, with the Nina Simone one, uh, Suzanne. The Suzanne, Suzanne Nina Simone cover. Down yeah, to but the, place the, by the, river. the Nina Simone version's yeah. awesome. Yeah. The yeah. Nina Simone version's unbelievable. Yeah, it's great. But is yeah. it? Well, he's not he's, a singer, really. He's more Leonard Cohen. Than, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a singer. He's a. No, I know, but he's not like. My dad wanted to go see him in concert in like uh-huh. the sixties or seventies or something, and he was like, "Yeah, it was the worst concert." He was like, "He played for an hour, and then he just like he like Did he clearly didn't want to crowd? do it." Yeah. yeah, me and Marielle went to go see. Van- I'm a huge Van Morrison fan. I love Van you, Morrison. Did you say Van Halen? Van Morrison. Van- okay, I heard, yeah. I heard you say, <laughs> you say Van, Van, Van Wilder. <laughs> Van Wilder. <laughs> the movie. Uh, Van Wilder. Yeah, Van Wilder too. Actually, The Rise of Tom. Actually. <laughs> 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 uh, we went to see Van Morrison, and right. he was kind of like that. David he, Lee Roth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he played for like an hour, and he was yelling at his band. It, his voice was pitch perfect, but he was yelling at the, He was such a curmudgeon. His band was, he's like, hurry up. Hurry. He's yelling at the band yeah. as they're playing their solos. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Let's keep going. Bah, bah, bah. And, then, and then he would go into his amazing voice. Yeah, uh. He did have a good voice. Yeah, I think he was one of those guys, if I'm not mistaken, by the way, the first musical guest on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon was Van Morrison. Oh, really? And um, he also, uh, he, I think he was one of those guys that was upset at the songs that became popular. I you think You know he what was. I mean? Like he, oh, Brown Eyed Girl is a yeah. bad example. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he'll sing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. doesn't sing it or even, what is it, Moon Dance? Moon Dance, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. all of those songs, he, I don't think he likes. And there's other stuff that he's so passionate about that. Yeah. He, only the fan fans love, and I think he's just bitter about that. He was technically the first hipster, if you yeah. really think about it, because <laughs> like the things that got popular. I don't know. That was a bad joke. Okay, That's thanks. Please I don't know. I, I thought you were making a valid point. <laughs> Wade, Wade like, really sunk that in, too. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Not only did it so last, but most of the, when a joke doesn't work, you look down. Why would but it Wayne be? like looked up and like watched the joke not working fly into the ether. 
Shut up, Dan. Don't yeah. add to it, you I fucking it. idiot. I got it. I got uh, it. I'm just glad that I'm, I'm sorry, not the one I apologize. No, I'm just kidding. This is I was looking at his ass. He looks like this is like Sting. This looks like more of like a rock oh, album. Stop kissing the guy's ass, I'm not Dan. Kissing his ass. I don't like Sting. No. <laughs> no, it's a great album cover. Yeah, I like it a lot. It yeah. is a good album cover. But the, but the thing is, this is. Uh, I don't want to talk about this album too much, but I feel no, like this is. 31 years of stand up. 31 years, album. your whole life. My whole life. How. When were you born? Can I ask? 78. I'm 37. Oh, okay. So this yeah. is, you were already a kid when I started. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it starts with me. I'm very happy about doing stand up. And then by the end, I'm like, <laughs> what do the, I look like? You're in the street. I'm in the street. <laughs> what have I done? Street. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> so is it, is it material from the past 31 yes, years? Yes. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. So is it more than one, one CD? Is it's, it one? It's all yes, one it's CD? Yes, it's called three CDs. Oh, it is. It's called yeah. three CDs. Okay. I didn't yeah, know the yeah. title. Okay, great. That's no, awesome. it's not called three CDs, but it's, yes, it's more than one CD. Oh, that's great. That's so awesome. So it starts out in New York and then I go to New, to LA. It's, I've talked about it enough, but yeah, it's but a, not here. We'll the Chronicles of Fetterman. That's it. So I just I had all of these arch an archive of like a lot of material. Some of yeah. it on VHS tape. Some of it on so you, do mini you, now, cassette. Did you do them you know, again or now? No, you, this is just uh, from the like eighty seven. Yes. This is a bit. And, yeah, I can't really well. do an eighty four Olympic joke. <laughs> <laughs> Expect it to work. <laughs> well, you could have just go horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Recording stuff. <laughs> yeah. The guy who just will refuse to put his 80s references down. Like, no, this bit about Quicksilver is killing. Uh, but uh, it is interesting. I do do like a, or in the disc one, I do right. a bit about um, uh, the World Book Encyclopedia. Right. Which you might not know about. No, he knows. So, wait, that was the whole the Encyclopedia, encyclopedia. Britannica, yeah, yeah. World yeah. Book. Yeah, 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 we had all. We had World we Books had in my house growing okay, up. Okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that was a thing. So it was, but now, That's, like, what, that's when you did school reports of yeah. it. That's what yeah. I would do. Those are great. Yeah. I had to do a thing about rainbows when I was in second grade, and I had to use the <laughs> encyclopedia. Yeah, but now the kids don't even know what that is. Well, it's because it's one millionth of the internet is yeah. an encyclo right. entire encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like. It's so uh, arcane. But, but I feel like there was more, when they had the encyclopedias, don't you feel like there was more, uh, now if they go online, couldn't they just easily get wrong information? Do you know what I'm saying? With Wikipedia now and everything like that, they could get some very wrong information. The encyclopedias were like edited and edited again and they were vetted and they were like, they were trustworthy material. But it was also people deciding what was important was in that book. Right. Whereas Wikipedia is just like, hey, where, here's, hey. A, here's a bunch of facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I but, like it better now. I like it better, I even it though better. obviously you anyone can edit Wikipedia. Yeah. Speaking of Wikipedia, yeah, Jeff uh, Buckley was singing a whole lot of love when he went in the river. Oh, oh, so it's true. Whoa, what kind oh, of whoa. genius is in the that studio is. today? Wow. Also, weird thing to bring up during but, a podcast. In all fairness, the <laughs> author still, of the Jeff still Buckley weird thing to bring up though, Wayne. <laughs> right? I end up find out. <laughs> I guys, end up... I knew how many people died in that fire on this comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah, but but, it, but but to be honest, uh, Wayne wrote his Wikipedia page, so that's, that's true. What's that's up. true. <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty good. So it was him. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty once crazy. Once in a while, once in a while. Once in a while, you got to go. go. Yeah. <laughs> 31 years. What's so the worst? Uh, of uh, out of these 31 years, what's the worst experience you've ever had on stage? Oh, boy. That's <laughs> a good question. Let me think and let me think because there was, I mean, there was a horrific show early on in my career, but I'm trying to think if there was anything. I would say losing on Star Search was the worst experience I had on stage. Losing on Star Search? Mm -hmm. You mean But how far did you losing? get into it? My was, first set, my first your set. Your first set, you lost on it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You, was this, uh, what year was this? Was this 85? 86, 86. And that's really, that's interesting that that's... That was really was very traumatizing. Public. Very traumatizing. Yeah, because I think the whole idea of, I mean, just... Were you like, it's going to be 29 years until this <laughs> world gets an album from me? <laughs> um, no, I think part of it is like, I, I, I don't know, as a comedian, I know this is going to be way too serious, but no, no, it's no, like, no um, I think part of it is like, like as a comedian, you want to kind of be in control, right, yeah. right? And like when you get like publicly humiliated like that, like that's just what it felt like. I could like and other guys were just like, "Who cares?" The, the start it was fun to do it. Like I wasn't yeah. like that at all. It, like really traumatized for a long time. Did you have now? Did you have a bad set on it? Is that why? no? It was interesting because I looked. I couldn't look at the tape for years. Yeah. Um, and then when I finally looked at the tape, it was like two of the people gave me fours. Right. And, you know, which is the highest score right, you can yeah. get. And two of and the people one, gave me twos. 
Uh, so I was like, and that kind of sums up my career. Like people are like really into me or like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, next, well, next. Hey, I, I think I talked about this on the show, but <laughs> it's never two, like all two, twos across yeah, yeah. or all fours across. Yeah. When, I, when I was like two and a half years in, I auditioned for, uh, or three and a half years in, I yeah. auditioned for Last Comic Standing uh-huh. and I didn't get it. And it was like fucking Kindler was like, no, you're not funny. Oh, Natasha wow. Leggero was like, no, you're not funny. Did they show? But it was wasn't on TV, one. though. It wasn't on TV, oh, okay. thank God. So, but, right. But, but that, that's just why. Just think was, about it. Think no, if no, that was on TV. Dramatic. Yeah, yeah. But it's just funny, like, because Geraldo was like, yeah, I think you could be funny. Like, it's Be- just a weird situation. Right. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you know? the situation is so dry. I was lucky yeah. it didn't go on TV. It didn't and they, make it yeah, yeah, Especially God. with that show, they set you up for a fall, I think, a little bit. They have you wait online for. Yeah. You, oh, you didn't wait online, did you? No, this was like a book thing. They sent yeah. you up. Yeah. But it was. So, like, who were the people judging you? I don't even remember. It was like some guy. Latoya Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even the judge. And the comedian that beat me, like, all I wanted who was to the do comedian was. comedian to beat you? This guy, Tim Rose, who doesn't even do comedy. He wasn't even, like, serious about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's one of those things that stuck out in your brain that you were. Like, I don't know, just off the top of my head. I mean, yeah. th- I've never really talked about it that much, and sorry to bring your podcast down. No, but, no, yeah, no it's interesting. But uh, when I think back at it, it was like I, and also anyway, I did this bit. I had this very long closing bit about skiing. It yeah. was like four and a half minutes. And so you only get like ninety seconds. So I tried to squeeze it all. Like uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I couldn't yeah, yeah. quite get the rhythm of that thing, and I don't know. It was it was pretty like that felt bad. So let me ask you this: After you did it, did it yeah. affect you getting back on stage? Well, I've always suffered from stage fright, so that kind of pushed it up yeah. like another level of like, oh, what's the worst thing that can happen? I don't yeah. know. Humiliated in front of the country, you yeah. know what I mean? Everyone is like, so it's like. That so I was dealing with that as well. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah, it's funny because you you asked the question. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's rough. He does, no, he does that. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna play it through it. You know, two people drowning can't save each other. When <laughs> you just do that in every situation, <laughs> every like beautiful baby, uh, two people drowning can't save each other. You uh, because you were in was it I am comic that you were in and you yeah. told that story. But oh no no. You guys were on the road in that. You were like in some like Florida, crazy Florida. Oh no, no, you're time. thinking of I am road comic. I am road comic. Yeah, Maybe yeah, that was it. Yeah, and they, no, they we're followed in, you guys in that gig upstate Washington. Yeah, that was just like a little documentary yeah. about kind of all the steps of doing a road gig. Yeah, the renting yeah. the car, the thing, the trying to yet. get the free food, the you know, right, absolutely, the, yeah. <laughs> the horrible, you know, turnout, the jelly. Not jelly, jello wrestling yeah, in the room yeah, next door. Right. Yeah, right. It was great. It was great. It was <laughs> like what's happening? <laughs> just a shit show of just, just like <laughs> just taking stand-up comedy and just devaluing it to its like. Okay, we might be able to get some people in here to buy yeah, drinks. Just oh. ruining it for everybody. Yeah, somebody once said uh, it's like that stand-up is uh, you know, like a great way to sell drinks and fried cheese. Right. Like yeah. somebody mozzarella figured, sticks. And, yeah, yeah, and that's booze, what yeah. I meant. Yeah. So that was like a version of that. But it never stops getting humiliating, I don't think. Right? Really? I don't know. Really? Maybe <laughs> well, I, just think, for me. I think Amy Schumer's like, I'm being humiliated every night. <laughs> <laughs> Selling out. I don't know. I, yeah, I guess CPs it does. I guess uh, I'm just saying, I, 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 almost every time I've had something cool happen, the next day, really? something really humiliating. Just recently, like, for instance, like, I the same day I found out I got a writing job somewhere. Yeah. I auditioned for a club um, with a bunch of open micers. What, what does what, that mean? Can we just slow down a second? I, what does I don't want to say audition? what the club is, but what do you mean audition? I had to for a audition club? at an open mic and uh, for a club um, to see if I could get regular work there. Right at like in L.A. In L.A. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, it was an open mic, and I and I was I remember somebody who was coming into the open mic do the open mic had opened for me on the road like four months earlier oh. Oh, and yeah. I do it. I do not get past at this club oh. uh, because there's like it's too fat. I'm going with a bunch of people who've only been in comedy two years. And then, you know, and then you get afterwards, you get like advice, you know, and it's like, you know what? But, you know, here's the humbling thing is like some of you was right. He's right. like, you were rushing. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, I was because I was humiliated about having, to audition at an open mic when I thought that I had gone past that. And I realized, like, oh, the only time you go past it is, like, when they asked you to come and do stuff. <laughs> like, like, I could have, like, I, I did the worst decision. Either you don't do that or you do it. You don't do the other one where you're, like, half-ass it. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, like you yeah, either yeah, put right, on your you you put on your shit. dancing yeah. shoes. I agree with that. You I know, do like agree with just that. say no or put on the dancing shoes. You can't put on one dancing shoe and look ashamed. You know, yeah. like and you know what? I should go back there again and do it again. But uh, my whole point is like even after like I did when I did the half hour, the next day I did a club where it was for four people. It was a this Saudi is who did a Comedy family. Central presents Comedy Central presents thing. Yeah. The next day I did a club for four people. Um, and Love they it. just, they couldn't um, speak English. Can they I, looked hurt. Yeah. <laughs> can I know, say, they looked hurt. Can I speak to that? Because of course, two things. One, I was talking to, do you know the Sklar brothers? They're yeah. twin. Yeah. I've met them a couple times. Yeah. yeah. And they, uh, <coughs> they said that like, like, it's almost like trying to climb Mount Everest. Like there's so yeah. many things, there's dead bodies and you fall back. And like, <laughs> yeah. I always thought that was a great analogy, but, uh, but what we were saying is like I always feel like my career a little bit is like if I could make it as a sound, it would go like this. Huh? Oh. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, there's yeah. Oh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so many times that's so that exactly That's exactly what he just described. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've had that so many times. I'm like, okay. But on a loop, because it is, it does go back and forth. So and it's on all the way. I'm still doing ah uh, stuff. So there is right. progress. Yeah, there's still like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, just is. not enough, like just enough to not kill yourself. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it is kind of, but it's kind of, it's also like almost like the funnier way. You know, like if it was a whole tragic, if, uh, if it was like all oh, hits all the time, right, right, then it wouldn't yeah. be as funny. Well, then you'd well, be a delusional mess. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it makes you realize. There's you know, a book that just came out called The Comedians. Do you know about this book? No, no. Just came out last week, and it starts like in vaudeville and goes right up to kind of like podcasting. Is it good? It's excellent. It's excellent. Who's Who it by? It? It's by this guy, craziest name in the world, Cliff Nesteroff. I'm going to say it again. Wow. What if Cliff this was Nesteroff. like? Cliff what if this Nesteroff. is like a go, like Wayne Ghost writing a book? No, he was like it trying is. to push. It. There was like, it's just you with like a like a trolley mustache. And he's from Canada. He is from Canada. But uh, but he is very much into the story of like these comedians that do and then fall on hard times. So it's a, there's a lot of that yeah. recurring theme of a lot of people making it and then falling off. Right. So like right from the get go, like. In radio, in nightclubs, you know. Those, oh, so you know, from every Jackie facet G- of the comedy oh, it's world. Re- if you're interested in anything, I would. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds that's... so sad too. No, it's sad. It's it is kind of sad. It is kind of. I mean, I guess, but it was fascinating. Like right through the whole, the whole thing. It's it, you know. It's like it's one of those things. That everybody knows those stories, and he wrote a whole book about them. It's like, what's the secret then? If that's what goes on, you use those as cautionary tales, or what do you? No, what do I you think do? it's just he's just basically saying it's like. It's uh, this is what we've created here in America, and yeah. there's uh, this there's you know, no merry-go-round yeah. of like you jump on when you're starting, and then you get either get thrown off or you hold on, and you're Bob Hope, you know, and yeah, even him a- at the end was like that was kind of weird the way that all ended, you know, and that was a huge couldn't have been a bigger comedian. Who Bob Hope? Yeah, like even at the end where he kept going in the you know it was just kind of like, like ninety still doing reading stuff? cue cards and like barely could you know right because he couldn't well there's he a didn't few know stories how to like not that. jump on anymore yeah yeah. yeah yeah well that was like you know, I've heard story like Ron Dangerfield who's who was awesome oh the Dangerfield stuff's amazing especially the pre Rodney you know he was a comedian before he was Rodney yeah yeah that's awesome. a made up name. Yeah, like all of that stuff's in there. It's really fun. It's well, I, really fun. I, well, I found interesting is like he had a story like that where apparently there, there's a story that wasn't his his third wife or whatever it was was putting ear he had an earpiece in and she would tell him the jokes from backstage when he got really much older. Really, he would go out on stage and he he would recite the jokes. I'd love that now. Him. Yeah. Why? I'd love that now. I'd love to, to have a, uh, someone, have a You mean have a, fun, a wife? Have no, a, yeah, have a wife. <laughs> We're just a funnier comic just giving me material on stage. That'd be, that'd be you good. You know, Gaffigan's wife uh, writes a, a lot for him. Yeah, yeah, they write together, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good that's team. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. 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 Honey, do you want to start writing together, uh, Marielle? She's just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I got no, that's why I go on what? dates, Tinder dates. I'm like, as soon <laughs> as I get there, I'm like, can we write? What, what have you noticed about what I'm wearing? Well, you made a joke on a date that you mentioned this once before but it, it oh, fits was that and the one girl, oh, where i plagiarized a joke on a date or she called no, that out no, she, i told us about that on the show play, yeah she plagiarized he made a joke he made a joke on a date like in passing and the girl the next day tweeted it on her twitter oh there was that i talked about that on the podcast right? yeah but i'm saying it fits what we're talking well about. there's another thing that i did which was the lamest thing where i went on a girl 
out with a girl, and we were she, we were talking about sex or something, and I was like, weirdest place I've ever had sex is at the end of the bed. And I tell you this, or no, this is a bit you do. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, but then she goes, wait, isn't that a bit from Friends? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I just ripped off a Friends oh. episode <laughs> plot line to try to impress her. I actually admire her that she would be that yeah, knowledgeable. Yeah, she, she did not fuck me. Yeah. She, <laughs> she, well, I she couldn't pick the, the yeah, we, show we that all chicks put those, love, that right. Friends. Anyway. The, uh, the, now, did you know it was Friends, or you just yeah, said it? I, like, as I was saying it, it, I knew what I was doing. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was crazy. I was cra- I'm like the Carlos Mencia of dating. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have you done that before? Had that worked before? No, I de- no, I did it once before. I think it- where I tried to get wait. I used someone else's joke. Maybe it was like Mike Lawrence while I was trying to hook up with a girl, and it worked. Yeah. And then after that, I did it again. And then I stopped doing it after that. It didn't work. I was like, let's not. You know, I don't do it on stage or try to make money off it. But it's not the same thing. That is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Mario, you look horrified, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like he does these really I don't know if it was sexy Mike jokes. Maybe it was Norman. I don't know who it was, but I remember I you I ripped off a friend's joke to try to get laid one night, and uh, I don't know who it was. Maybe Andy Hay. I have really no idea. But uh, then after I did that, that was that was basically the end of it. So what do you? What year did you start doing stand up? Two thousand six or seven. Wow. Okay. So I'm like nine years and two months in. And did you, were you, like, funny in high school? Were you that kid? Kind of, yeah, but I was, like, theater funny, so I was obnoxious, like. You went to a theater college. In well, Indiana. I went to theater what? college, but. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, things just got Whoa. risky. What uh, happened here? You went to theater yeah. for college. That's what you said. You went to. Uh, no, I went to college for theater. But I, I no, I, I was a theater kid in high school, so it, it was. Uh, Could you sing? Could you were yeah, those yeah, guys? yeah, I can sing. Um, can but, you do a little, like. Pippin? Oh, <laughs> please don't do it. He'll do Let's it. He'll do, do it. a little corner of the sky. Do a little corner of the sky. Let's not do it. Because then, then, then it becomes those. <laughs> uh, then it becomes one of those. But yeah, I did that. What, what, what about you? How old were you? No, don't turn it back yeah, on yeah. me. I want to know him a little more. <laughs> I'm doing like mini Marin. We're all trying to be Marin now. <laughs> but what were you feeling like when he started? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't know. I was. I think I was like funny, but like an obnoxious. Like, look at me. Like, I wasn't really funny. I was like... Were you, like, you know, hyperactive? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted attention. I mean, I don't think I was genuinely funny. No, give me... I just want to know There's an example. definitely funnier kids than Not me. In, I just said, like, give me an example of a musical you were in that you were... I was in at. Pajama Game. Uh-huh. <laughs> Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor I mean, Dream. It blows my mind. <laughs> it blows my mind. Just yeah. knowing you. And we've worked together just a few times. Yeah, but it's yeah, just yeah. Like, your act is... So not well, pajama Jim, game-esque. I was in, Jim Jeffries I was, in Gypsy. was a musical guy. I mean, he was a really? theater guy. Really? Right? That's what I heard. He was a theater guy. I was in Gypsy. I played a newsie in Gypsy. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is not a surprise <laughs> at all. Do you have you do what was your wine? Do you remember it? Extra, extra, something extra. That was yeah. it? <laughs> You've not really I mean, that's kind of what you do now. So it's it's amazing. It set you up. I just hand out papers in yeah, yeah, comedy yeah. clubs. <laughs> I was in that, and then I was in some other. Play you were in. Too. Well, this is big news. You were just in a fucking TV show. You were in Limitless. I was in Limitless. Oh, as wow. a chef yeah. who got yeah. his hand cut off. I, I, I play. Wayne's a chef been in everything. So yeah, not a, not, you know, Wayne's in a really. Well, funny... Well, you've been in a lot. You've been in a bunch. Yeah, I've been in a bunch of stuff, I, but not Limitless. Not Limitless. Limitless. Well, brand this new. Is a Don't huge... worry. Give it time. You'll be. This in is it. a huge. This is a huge TV show based on a. Somewhat successful <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it's gonna be Dad, great. I didn't get paid today. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying that, yeah. I'm like, eh, I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're in a really funny Geico commercial now. Yes, with Kenny Rogers. Yeah. What was great. it like working with that guy? It was easy. Easy. We talked a lot about. It's a good guy. Uh, very good guy. Very good guy. Um, we talked a lot about uh, the Eagles. Because I oh, didn't really? know he was so <laughs> instrumental in that band. I didn't either. Yeah, until I saw that. Four hour documentary about the Eagles. I didn't know he had anything to do with the Eagles. Yeah, neither did I. So we, we talked about that. And he's a, I, his, he was like started out as a jazz bass player, stand up bass. Right. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. So, you know, we got Well, he talk went about from like, like kind of acid rock to country too, right? Right, right. Well, there's that, new... so, there's that song he has in Big Lebowski. It's amazing. Yeah. I can, just dropped in to see what see condition my condition is in. in. Not familiar with that movie. That's good. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's, uh, that's crazy to get to meet him. He looks pretty good for how old he is, right? He's about to retire. He's about to retire. This is going to be his last year. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. He's like, I, I like, I, I like hearing that. You don't hear anybody retire ever. Like, well, apparently, what's, who retired? Jack Nicholson retired, right? Yeah. 
Well, yeah, Nicholson's he's done? He's yeah, done. he can't read scripts anymore, apparently. And he can't Gene, memorize. Oh, really? And Gene Hackman retired. Gene Hackman retired. And Gene Wilder. Gene and Wilder. Gene Wilder, yeah. He may who? come back, though, I heard. What? What? For, like, one no, movie. that's not true. Is that true? I heard he may be coming back for a Spielberg movie or something. Well, if you, you know, oh, I could about... see in some sound of, like, angelic role or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah I could easy see that. Easy fucking bullshit. You ever okay, see that I, was, uh, I think we would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that, that, that interview they had, that 92Y? Fuck Gene Wilder, no. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I haven't seen it. Why, why did he it's quit? It's funny how serious of a guy he is, considering how hilarious he is. Yeah. Because they're, like, talking about, you know, the state of... Like, they talk about now, state of movies and stuff like that. He's like, I think it's disgraceful. He's very, like, proper and very... But when Why you think does he it, think it's disgraceful? I think, I think it's like... Curse words. The curse, like, words. you know, yeah, like curse, curse words. Because yeah, they exactly. curse? Yeah. And the language. Yeah, I think the language yeah. and the subject Lang- matter might exactly. be a little, yeah. a little he's like intense an old, for him. He's very, he's, I just had a vision of, like, like Gene Wilder, like, like with, like, a like a shawl, like, watching Magic Mike and being mortified. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and like, oh, oh! Yeah, that's kind of what it was, yeah. <laughs> but he's, he's he retired... Incredible. But nobody ever retired. Like you think Morgan Freeman, he's awesome, but they, he's like only what seventy five or something. I don't know. Yeah. And I'm like think about at that point, I would just retire. I would just go and live on a boat somewhere. That's why we'll never be like Morgan Freeman because we think about that. Too much. I know. I know. <laughs> like, yeah, I like, never have the, as much cash as Morgan. Yeah, Freeman. yeah, because he doesn't think about shit in terms. Of I know that. somebody used to. I might my, my this. When can I quit? You know, yeah. it's, not a good, <laughs> it's not a good thought to have. No, it's not. But it happens. <laughs> I guess. And it's, he's one of those guys that like. Uh, I, I knew somebody that worked for him, and he has a whole team of people. I guess a lot of these, a lot of these famous celebrities do like. Yeah, my uh, my, my, my sister whole... did makeup for him. Oh, she did. Yeah, what? she was on movie with, with like him and Virginia Madsen. So it was some movie didn't do very well, but she was, because she was, it was a Rob Ryder movie, I think. She was like makeup person. She was assistant makeup on it. She kind of then she decided to get out of that and just teaches now. But and she and she said he was cool. She said he was yeah. She said it was cool. Well, that's not. Yeah. I don't know. She, she was, all right, let's move on. Yeah, then. I don't know. She was all right. I, I don't know. Like, let's move on because Morgan Freeman listens to this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, Keenan was nice, apparently. <laughs> Keenan was nice. That's what I'm uh, I, I don't know. Um, but uh, you, so you worked, when you started out, you were doing, did you, you started out in New York, right? So you did the strip. Started out in New York. You said you had like crazy story with sports in the strip or something? Well, it was, this is, you were asking me just a bad story. You were asking me, I know. (laughs) What was the idea is, is what, bad things? This is the dumbest thing. Stupid thing. Okay, this is what I did. This is what I did. We don't want to. I was at the comic strip was my home club. Still there in New York. Still barely holding on. Right, yeah. Like of all the three clubs, it was the improv, Catch a Rising Star, and the comic strip. Yeah. Comic strip, believe it or not, last man standing, I'm shocked. Yeah, yeah, catch was like God. I couldn't. That place was limousines lined up around the block. Really? Oh wow! Oh my God! Dustin Hoffman walking in. The people. It was incredible. Really? Wow. Cocaine, like the whole thing. And I wasn't like a big actor. Were you like a big cocaine guy? No, not no. at all. Not at all. Once in a while, people after shows would say, "Do you want to do some coke with us?" I guess just like, hey, you were funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, wow. would, that hasn't happened that in was like a, 30 years. Nobody can afford that. <laughs> but just <laughs> like now, it's like, you want a cigarette? <laughs> you know, I mean, but people would do that with like Benson with pot and stuff like that, right? Right. Has that happened to you where people are like, oh, I've I don't had know. that happen. People have booze. And I remember when I was drinking on steroids, yeah. I was because I, I had quit. And then I was, I remember one weekend I was relapsing, mm-hmm. but I would always try to, people would be like, let's smoke weed, but I'd be like, huh. So let me know if you guys have any pills or coke. Like, I made it very specific <laughs> from what I would say on stage. And then somebody would be like, weed. And I'm like, I don't want this pussy shit. Are Give you, me some sure, real are you shit. sure you're not a roadie? Are you sure you're not? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I've gotten over to smoke weed. People will say, you want to go smoke weed after the show. And uh-huh. I was like, I'm always like, nah, I don't smoke weed or anything. Like, yeah, I don't, much. I'm I like, don't nah, I'm all right. It's just like kind of a weird exchange. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. It's a very intimate thing to do with someone, I think. To, anyway. With total stranger? Yeah. yeah drink yeah. is easier. Yeah. Uh, so... So anyway, so at the comic strip day, yeah. we had the something called the Broadway Show League, which is a softball league that would play in Central Park. And so we would have like the comic strip would go up against, you know, the the cast from Evita or something like yeah. you know, and they right, right, right. basically you know not the most athletic guys in the although they were dancers, you know. So we was, yeah, some of those guys, some of those guys were amazing, and they had some of the crew guys were of course insane, yeah. and we. Uh, you so anyway, so one day I think we were playing the improv, and I'm out, of course, in right field, trying to where you do the least damage. Right, right, yeah. right. That's where I was when I was a kid. Somebody, and I don't know how to describe this, but Central Park is like five fields, and they're all they all kind of share deep center field. 
Like yeah. it's sort of like a big park. A common and there's, there's deep five, field. Yeah, yeah, so there's five diamonds all around one big circle. Yeah. So, of course, I'm playing in too shallow. Somebody hits the ball over my head. I misplay it. I take a step in. I'm like, oh, no, this is going over my head. I go over my head. I run. I grab the ball. I turn. I whip it to third base. Wrong field. <laughs> literally the wrong field. And, this and then I just kind of looked to the right and was like, and literally everyone is just has their hands up like, what are you? What are and this you? is in front of uh, comics. Oh, and the whole thing. Yeah. It was like, and the guy who caught it on the other field was like, I don't even know you. Why are you throwing? <laughs> but I was so panicked. You know what I mean? Like trying to. Uh, who was on this team? Oh, well, it was, uh, I think, you know, Jeff Garland and Joe Bolster, Barry yeah. Weintra. You know what I mean? It was like those comic strip guys from back then. And... Well, that was like that Seinfeld episode where I think they play a Broadway show. Oh, they do? Yeah. They, yeah. They oh, there the is same an league. Yeah. 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 So oh, from the same from uh, uh, Rochelle Rochelle. That's like a fake Broadway show in yeah, the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they play, oh, yeah. they play softball against them in the show. I'm sure that's the exact. So that was that was one of my most. Oh, that's funny. My most humiliating, <laughs> idiotic things I did. Well, they're like, we're gonna bench you for a couple of games there, Wayne. Yeah, and then I just had I ran the 1985 New York Marathon. Oh, nice. Well, but that's, I that's great. But I couldn't. I oh, and I retired from running the day after. I haven't run since. <laughs> I mean, I still play basketball, but I won't run. Well, what happened? Well, there was a co comedian. I think I want to say Bill McCarty. I hope I'm getting this right. He used to say that running is the only sport that combines uh, mind-numbing boredom with pure physical agony. Like, it's just the worst. Like, who can possibly do this? I hope that's right, Bill. It is the worst. It is the worst. Yeah. So, But I did it because it was like the running craze. But yeah. So I didn't... I didn't train or anything like that. I was just in a lot of pain for the whole, oh, for wow. the whole race. But, you didn't train for the marathon. But I, it was just too boring. <laughs> I was like, I knew I was going to do it. I knew I was like, whatever the pain was. I kinda, you must I, have been in pretty good know, shape. I, yeah. I, I, I'm starting to run again now. You are? Hard to believe. Oh. <laughs> I've been inspired by Sean's wife. What? Not Sean, but. <laughs> Tell uh, me. But yeah, I, I, I mean, you get the iPod going, then it feels like you're getting better, right? No. Like recover, like. Your it's terrible. Yeah. Soul is being. I don't know. People get. People do have that. What is that called? Runner's high. Yeah. You, you, yeah. I never. Yeah. I've never come anywhere near experience that. Mariel, really have you ever gotten runner's high when you're running? You, yeah. yeah. Mariel runs. I a would lot. love to have that. I would love to have it. It's the endorphins yeah. in your brain that get released, so that that you, it numbs you to the running, right? Have you run a marathon? She, ran half half. she almost ran the marathon a couple years ago. 13.1 miles. That's really hit. impressive. Wow. Yeah. That's and you really did, you impressive. You did 26 miles? 26.2. Get it right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get it right, jerk. 26.2 without running. I was like, I think it was 11,300 and something. That's pretty good. Five hours, normal? 13 minutes, 15 How many seconds. people were there? 17,000. That's pretty good. A few thousand didn't make it, so I beat a couple thousand people. I would just be like, hey, can I walk this? <laughs> Even walking it, I would be like, fuck. It's just dope. It's so stupid. It was so stupid. But I I got one joke out of it. Can I do the joke? Yeah. Okay, this was my joke. It's like, so I did the New York Marathon, which is the easiest of all the marathon courses because it's 17 miles. When you hit the wall is the exact moment you cross over into the South Bronx, and then for the rest of the race, you're just fleeing. <laughs> it's kind of racist, but... No, that's good. Especially, it's all, especially no, for the Italians there. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And the, the Irish the and the The mafia is after you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, uh, For 85, that was... Everybody's like, yes, yes, you're right. I still do yes. that. It, yeah. was, it was a joke and a fact at the same time. It's a fact. So... Uh, <laughs> That was uh, so. People used to really get paid in cocaine back then. No, that ever happened? oh wait, well, well, well it's so cocaine, funny right? in that book. Yeah, uh, the comedians. I don't know why I'm pushing this book because I've been reading it. They like Overton. Rick Overton talks about doing shows where the club owner was like, "I'll pay you in cocaine," and he was like, "Sure." That never <laughs> happened to me. I mean, I've had club owners not pay me or you know what I mean, yeah. short yeah. me or stuff like that. But I've never ever had anyone do anything like that. Pay you in coke. But That's, I like the... Not paying is always brutal. I just had that happen in Atlantic City. The, the, you yeah. know the comedy stop in Atlantic City? Is that Richard Minervini? No, no, that's the so other Somebody not pay you? This is Bob. Bob. Uh, they didn't pay you? Didn't pay you. Didn't pay. He closed the club two weeks later. He's like, oh, we're going to pay you. And, uh, and everybody's like, oh, it takes a little while to get paid. And then somebody goes, Man, that's hey. happened. That's happened to me. 
Yeah, yeah. I had a yeah at a club. Um, my age, I, I feel I will mention it because my agency like they made it up to me. They kind of just like hey, forget commission mm-hmm. for the next couple. But the guy totally chipped me like three hundred, four hundred bucks. So it sucks. Yeah, yeah. Do you so feel like that's a racial <laughs> slur against gypsies when you say that? Because that's where that comes from. I'm just curious. Um, I, in this new world, I don't want to get well, any I tell social you what. justice I tell warriors. You what, guys, when they're able to uh, buy a house to meet about oh this, my God. all right, then they can. <laughs> he goes, you doubles know, down. <laughs> he doubles <laughs> down. <laughs> right. Right, you can't have a meeting in a tent on a hill. Wait a, a minute. That's not know. every gypsy. All right. I, <laughs> we had, am I going to be in a blog? I, I used to. Uh, Guy Brown got really annoyed at me because I made fun of gypsies once on Facebook. So he posted. He's a fucking mental patient. Every Every four days, he posted a new part of a gypsy movie. Like a famous gypsy movie. <laughs> I was kidding, but this is yeah, getting really, yeah. uh, really well, dark. Well, you know, Wayne started in on the blacks, and then it just got... <laughs> I know. Sorry, worse. guys. Sorry, guys. I was thinking more Hispanic yeah, so South yeah, Bronx. If you don't know South Bronx. <laughs> All right, well... South Bronx, I think that's the only non-gentrifiable place because nobody... No, that's not there. true. That's not is true. Is it getting gentrified? No, there's just a whole thing. That yeah. There's big buildings going up. Really? Oh, yeah. Wayne I just heard, bought I, a high-rise. I this heard they be... were trying to do it for a while, and they were going to call it Sobro. Did you hear that? No. Yeah, so bro. It's going to happen. It's it's so close to Manhattan. Yes. I, I know. Every it's going to happen. Every, most, you know, you know where it's, the newest one is, is Bed-Stuy. Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. Which, yeah. Well, I, I also talk about that. Well, my dad used to threaten to move us there if we were bad as kids. <laughs> and now it's like, hey, it's and nice. And now, now they're like, hey, come on by. Well, that's whatever. They just pushed um, all the crime to Camden. What? Giuliani is like, yeah, just push it to Jersey, you know. Is that what it was? Kind of. What? Yeah. What I mean, the... I give you a go. I didn't like, know when, this was going to get when, political. Cr- this is interesting. You know, when, <laughs> when crime went down, and like, there were other parts around it, like in Jersey, that the crime would go I remember off hearing and... rumors they just would give him one-way bus tickets to Florida. They'd be like, get on the bus. That's what I heard, too. For yeah. homelessness and, and crime and all that kind of stuff. They were just like, get out of New York. It's like a Wild West method of doing things. You, and can we believe like Florida got so messed up then? The yeah, Florida we just sent so all our crazy up. people Guys, to Florida. You know, I lived in Florida, right? Did you? Yeah. Are we offending you right now? Well, I just feel like <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, how old, how old are you in Florida? You I'm, Florida? I'm, you uh, in Florida? I'm not a hologram. I have real feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm a real. You can Did touch you grow me up in Florida? Right? Half my childhood, yeah. <laughs> It's so what, 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 You're like, I'm furious. We're in Florida. <laughs> We're in Florida. <laughs> I can tell. We're in Florida. It's, believe it or not, a place called Plantation. That's an actual wow. place wow. right outside Fort Lauderdale. You're you know, like part of the problem. Yeah, I know. No <laughs> question. And not only did I live in Plantation, but I lived. I went to South Plantation High. I went to the less progressive part of Plantation, <laughs> <laughs> like in the deep south of a place called Plantation. But you got out of Florida. Yeah. Where'd yeah, you yeah. go after that? Did New York? Did, oh, New York. Did you stand up? No, I went to NYU to study acting, and then. Always wanted Which to Which school up. did you go to MIU? You were a theater guy too. Yeah, but not I didn't I was never in the pajama game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when, when theater guys talk shit to other theater guys. Like, uh, excuse me, bro. I was I'm more of a guys team. and dolls. Okay, guy. that's bossy. <laughs> well, what school were you in? Uh, Adler. Adler. Yeah, yeah. So you were like an intense Stanislavski I, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, like you know, Brando. Stella, you were like a Brando. Yes, thank you for knowing you, all of that. The, uh, Stella was still teaching when I went there. Really? Oh, wow, she yeah. taught me. Like, did she, did she, she was like, I'm done. She, you, you yeah, I, cr- I, cr- She's like, <laughs> I cracked her. She's done. <laughs> She's like, who is this clown that I have <laughs> to. I was dealing with Marlon Brando just 15 years ago. And now this freaking jokester walks into my. Uh, yeah. So she was at the end. And when she came in the room, we had to stand up. Really? Yep. Yep. Because she was that famous by then? No, that was just part of the. Oh, oh, thing. oh. Like, <laughs> you had to give like a standing ovation. Like, no, not a standing, just like, like the stand, president. Stand up, yeah, and you couldn't have like water or coffee or anything like that. And oh wow, she was she was really good. But I really liked her ex husband, this guy uh, Harold Clorman. He came in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Part yeah. of this is all crazy group theater stuff, but. Uh, yeah, so that was a good and but even then I was like kind of auditioning or going What was to, it like being um in the room with her? Stella Adler. Well Was she you know, like to, really to, old? To, to be honest. Yeah, well yeah. she was old, but she was pretty the and she was videotaping a lot of it. So I know there's like making her fucking money. Yeah, no, I don't know what ever happened to those videos. It's, I'm always curious about that. But she uh I I I don't I, looking back I think it was a little too young and naive to really get, to the, get the full, full, full thing. Because I was like 
I was into Neil Simon and she's into like Chekhov and Ibsen. You know what I mean? Right, it was like right. yeah, kind of yeah. a little different mentality of like what what I why I w- wanted to be on stage. And so um Do you I, still take anything from that class? Yeah. Now? Once in a while, once in a while when I'm acting, I was like, you know, just about clarity of intention. And she always she had a great quote. She said, Your talent is in your choices. Okay. And she said and I was like, "Wow, well, that's interesting. I thought people are just talented. Yeah. Like, now specifically, what choices you're making. I just making. thought of all the horrible choices I've made in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, Stella, Stella. Or I just, Stella! Yeah. Like, what if I play this one like a Jamaican? <laughs> that's your talent. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah but then, when you were in the uh, America's Got Talent Super Bowl commercial, what choices were you making then when Howard Stern was hosing you down okay. with a fire hose? All right, calm down. <laughs> Guy who plays a civil service worker in every acting job he's ever booked. That's true. Guy, guy who's not smart well, enough to play uh, the real life version uh, of that job, but somehow can book on TV. That's smart enough to play an actual chef. Uh, I don't know, but Dan. A TV cr- I don't know, Dan. Was a chef civil service? I don't think so. I don't so. know chef, but yeah. you, were, well, you were a cop. I was, and, oh, I was a cop, and I was a secure. What was I? Cop, security guard, oh, and a car- carpenter. Yeah, whoever's killed first in like a Batman movie. <laughs> I think it was a Steve O'Brien joke. Jesus. That's okay. Don't worry. That's how it happens. That's that. how it happens. Don't I like your it. Brain and you get the reputation. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. And then you do that, and then you and then you start doing stand up while you were at NYU. I started. I mean, I did a one man show when I was there. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And and uh, and, and then because I started, believe it or not, in high school doing uh, ventriloquism. Like really? That, yeah. For real? You, you, really? No, I know oh, that wow. sounds humiliating. I actually no. no I mean, I was I believed it on board. What? I was, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> looking at believe it or not, I'm like, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I can, I believe can it. see you doing the puppet move in high school. Well, well, but all fairness, Dan, Dan had puppets in the beginning. My of dad. dad had marionettes. Oh, which is creepy as, that's creepier I than fucking. I love it. I love it. So you really had a puppet? Mm-hmm. And what it's was the dummy? What was the, what Buford, was the name? Buford. Buford. That's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the Florida kicking in. Yes, Buford. yes, it was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so I went to Florida, and uh, as I've said before, I took him uh, to my senior prom. With I had a date, oh my and God. also performed at the senior prom. Are you serious? Yes, that Absolutely. is horrifying, man. <laughs> what? That is the most horrifying story. <laughs> That's Can worse you imagine than... being Wait the girl minute. later on? Oh yeah, I went with the ventriloquist. <laughs> oh well, he just did that. No, he brought his dummy to the prom. I was supposed to lose my virginity that night, but no, I guess my my date and his date had other plans. <laughs> Did you get laid that night or no? No, I, I graduated. <laughs> of, course you did. of course I did. Not. <laughs> <laughs> How creepy would you be? He was getting laid and then just slowly the doll no, came up. <laughs> you <laughs> <first>. high five <laughs> you. Well, <laughs> <it was> <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Hey, are, you, are you doing that? Or are you? <laughs> that was shockingly, I was a virgin when I graduated high school. <laughs> Even with the ventriloquist. I think was told uh, me, I think. Oh, I, my junior prom year. was the, this girl invited yeah. me. <laughs> as soon as we got, I, had, I should do a bit about this. Yeah. Because we got in the limo, like we tried to be fun and dress as '80s characters. It was really stupid. Yeah, I, right. Again, I was like trying to be funny, and I was just right. a retard. Yeah, you're in high school. And I got, in a, like... I got in the fucking limo. First thing she says is like, "Well, just to let you know, um, just found out my pastor killed himself, so we're gonna have to deal with that tonight." Wait, this was the first thing she said. Yeah, first thing she says. Oh, so wait, this is the prom. You said this was a junior prom. Oh, wow. And then we went to Caroline's to go see fucking Ari Spears. <laughs> right after she told me her her uh, her pastor killed oh, wow. himself, and then I just got hammered. And that was, <laughs> it was like the worst. I did not get laid that could at have been all. A story from last week. <laughs> <laughs> Not much has changed for you. Yeah, it just became like a Raymond Carver <laughs> fucking story. By the end. <laughs> I guess right. Ugh. Oh my Jesus. god! No, so wait, were you, were you from New Jersey or something? Rutherford? Yeah. Oh, and not in Westchester, New York. Not East Rutherford. No, Rutherford. Rather, Rutherford. Regular Rutherford. Regular side. I wrestled in East Rutherford. Though. Oh, look at this. And there we go. Wait a minute. You were in the pajama game and you wrestled. <laughs> and then I well, was actually, also in the uh, suck there was, cock troop. There was, <laughs> there was also wrestling going on behind scenes in the pajama game as well. Right. Well, that's, yeah, that's I, what I was doing. Who wrote the music? Wow. Three, three now for sure. Who wrote the music for the pajama Shut up, game? Shut up, Dan. Uh, I forget. I, I know, know who wrote it for I Gypsy. Remember we met I know Gypsy. But Jeffrey I'm... Adler from Fiddler when we did that in eighth uh-huh. grade. We met him. He was still alive. They're redoing it. Fiddler, this is now theater this talk. This is just theater talk <laughs> with yeah. the stars. I love how at certain points of this interview, Wayne just starts interviewing you about your child. No, I'm curious. But theater. Yeah. I don't know much. I haven't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about Dan, so. The pajama well, game. Uh, here we go. 
Richard Adler, Jerry Ross. Oh. So it was Adler. Adler. Oh, it was Adler. Yeah. Did he do uh, Fiddler, too? No, I thought no, that was... No, maybe that was... Jerry Orbach. No, that's just the, that's the fucking one order actor. He donated his eyes. Yeah, he was, I don't know. You know that, right? When he died, he, he donated, donated his, his eyes. eyes. Yeah, Jerry Orbach? Creepiest. Yeah, he has no eyes. Yeah, I forget. There was, a lot of good, no there was actually a lot of good Jerry Orbach at, uh, fucking jokes around yeah. that time. It's really for, for donated, you know, I'm donating my body to science when I die. For real? Yeah, because yeah, I'm think... so desperate for attention. <laughs> and I want some young USC student working on a cadaver going, wait a minute. What's this guy in the X Files? <laughs> I think I know this guy. Were you you were in the X Files? Just one episode. Well, who were you on the X Files? Believe it or not, played a guy named Wayne Fetterman, although not Wayne Fetterman. <laughs> really? They just it was just random. No, not random. It was a part written with me in mind uh, by David Duchovny. It was like a I played a producer who was uh, shadowing Mulder and Scully to write a movie about. These two guys. Oh, that's funny. That's and in the movie, great. I gotta watch Wayne this Fetterman. episode. Yeah, it's called. So I got Holly- really into the X X Files, and like, I guess I just. It's called just... Hollywood AD. And Hollywood in AD. the movie, Tay Leone and Gary Shandling play Scholar and Mulder. Uh, so so, uh, I remember uh, Hollywood. Oh, that's funny. Hollywood AD. Oh, because yes. you because you you're friends with Gary Shandling, so you. That's, I that's knew Gary you... Shandling from the Larry Sanders show, and then Duchovny knew me from stand up. So it was Hollywood like, AD. Yeah. So. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah. So I play. Yeah. So I was That's great. I played that, and I actually had to audition for the role of Wayne Fetterman. That's fucking annoying. I know. <laughs> That's funny. I know. That, that, how, was that, that was a tough. Did you hear Wayne the Fetterman. story? I think we talked about this podcast what? where Jermaine Fowler was like auditioning for something, and he saw like looking for a Hannibal Burris type. So he just called Hannibal, and Hannibal showed up and booked it. Right. You know, like <laughs> weird <laughs> stuff happens like that. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to wrap this thing up. Let's um, do it. Wayne, thank what? you so much for coming on. You're very welcome. I hope goes, I had enough. He goes, what? What? <laughs> you can get... Like we haven't been talking to you for the past 45 minutes. What? What? You can get the Chronicles of Fetterman on your website, on iTunes. And on Amazon. Yeah. And Amazon. Yeah. Is there anything it's else you like to album. Uh, Oh. Um, I, I, I mean, I have my own podcast. Can I talk about that? Yeah, or sure. Is that cool. to, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. that's the whole it's, point. It's uh, with a woman, 25 years my junior, named Erin McGathy. Nice. And uh, <laughs> it's called Human Conversation. And you guys just have human Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just doing talking. it. Just two, two doing humans. We tried to have that before the what? podcast, what? even. It was scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It was, it was uncomfortable. <laughs> Dan, you want to promote anything? <laughs> thank you for having um, me on, by the way. Thank really you. No, I'm it. glad you really This is a huge gift for us. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I love We're, it. Next up, what if you walked in and there was just a guy with like a ventriloquist tummy? Or oh it's God. a whole new block. <laughs> uh, but... Um, no, I mean, just check my website. I'll have my dates and stuff on there. And Yeah, you know. I'm the same thing. Just check SeanDonnelly.com. Aaron? Com. Add all and things then, coming. I wasn't done, Dan. Sorry. And buy my album. Oof. Uh, Marielle, <laughs> uh, do you have anything to pop? No? <laughs> Nothing? Marielle? You want to promote uh, anything, Marielle? No. Tom Lewis. Uh, how, uh, about, you... how about you're married to Sean Donnelly? How about <laughs> that? That's a credit. That's pretty also, good. we're raising uh, money for cure for the Tom, so please just donate. Shut, don't you stop doing that shit. All right, I'm just joking. I'm not. He's not. Tom, he's it. a producer. I, would, I had the running he's bit that he was dying. Okay. Okay. He's going to keep it going. Then, no, he doesn't have cancer, Mariel. Dan just does that because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Wow, we're really landing on some acrimony <laughs> from this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, donate to Tom's Fund. All right, have a good one, guys. Take care. <laughs>
over uh, the, the year as we're coming down to the end of the year. Uh, if you would care to throw us a couple bucks, we would greatly appreciate it. Go to mydumbfriendspodcast.tumblr.com and uh, scroll around in there and you will see a donation button there for PayPal. So safe and secure donation via PayPal at mydumbfriendspodcast.tumblr.com. Send us a note. We'd love to read it and read it on our mailbag episodes. Send it to mydumbfriendspodcast at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a great week. For other cool comedy podcasts, go to allthingscomedy.com. Yes, we're a part of the All Things Comedy Network. We're one of many great comedy podcasts. That's allthingscomedy.com. Our opening and closing song is called Mary the Boxer by Phil Pickens. You can find out more about Phil at philpickens.com. Lift me up. Lift me up. Lift me up You don't know